what happens to Spurs without Harry Kane? Because we talked about Jordan Henderson being the glue for Liverpool. There's no doubt whatsoever that Harry Kane is the glue for Spurs. They finished eighth last season with 30 Harry Kane goals. 30 plus, I think it was. But either way, you know, he's a phenomenal, phenomenal talent. What happens to Spurs without Harry Kane? I think they struggle because I don't think you, you can replace a Harry Kane. And in their ranks at the moment, Richarlson, what did he score? Two goals last season. So that's not really a replacement. Who's out there to buy? Not not much. So without Harry Kane, they're going to be really struggling, huh? and like struggling for a top 10. They finished, like I said, eighth with Harry Kane and 30 goals. And if Son's not on song mm. next season, then where are the goals coming from? And they are going to struggle. Did because you the signings th- they made are not great at the moment. Mm. It's not like world class. Well, Madison's a, a, yeah, an excellent player. Yeah, but he's he's not going to turn that team around. You know, without Harry Kane, he's not going to turn into a, now a, a top four team. James Madison, great player, yeah, but he's not. He's, they need more than just that. Was it, was it you? It was someone on Talksport, I can't remember who. It may have been you that said that they fear that Spurs could be in a relegation battle without Harry Kane. Was it you? Well, said I, that? I said that last season. I said that without. Harry, Harry Kane, they they would have been in a relegation battle. Okay, they would have been because then thirty goals was humongous and done. You know, got how many points for them? Without that, they would have been struggling and they would have been fighting like the, the Everton's. Mm. And it's not just his goals, of course. It's his assists, his build-up yeah. plays, everything about Harry Kane. Everything. Yeah. All right, well, listen. That's where we're going to start. Spurs fans and football fans, as well. You can have your say on that. We uh, we move on. It's a busy show. It always is on drive. So if you want to talk about that, we've got about seven or eight minutes until we move on. So now's the time to pick up the phone. Harry Kane without Spurs. What happens to them? And also, who replaces Harry Kane? I don't think I've ever seen uh, a team dissected as much as Spurs are when a talisman or a player of that ilk is leaving or could leave to the to the degree that people start talking out of the top 10 relegation battle we've lost players before and i don't want harry kane to go i understand why he would go but we've lost bale Keane, berbatov players who've been important to us over many years and we've never been in a relegation scrap since the team evolves the team develops but spurs seem to be the one that are just dissected to a ridiculous extent and made up that all of a sudden one player goes the team fails we are bigger than one player we always have been and the club will go on i wish harry kane the best luck whatever he does he's he deserves to be a legend at the club but it's just balmy the way the media goes when it talks him going like the last three seasons it's been ludicrous well i don't think spurs have ever lost a player of harry kane's stature or what he's done for the club the amount of goals he scores for you, I don't think you've had any other player, or well, you haven't, to do those kind of numbers and to have no backup. Um, when Bale... Completely agree. Completely agree with and, you. And he, he scored 30, 30 goals. Your team as a whole scored 68. So he was eight off yeah. the whole team. So And you conceded 62. So without those goals, you'd be well in the minus. And to me, that completely means... Completely agree. But relegation battle last season without him. You can't didactically look at Spurs as the team as the only one. You take one player out of Spurs and dissect it. You can't just do that and think. Spurs have been one team for the past three years. They have been the one player team almost. He's carried that. But but also, on the year before when Son was banging in goals, he had a woeful season. Harry Kane wasn't great because his head was turned by Man City, and Son stepped up at that season. Son had a bad season last season, but last season uh, was not a great season uh, anyway, and it's 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 an erroneous one because the World Cup was there as well. And I'm not blaming that for anything. I do think agree with your point. I do think Adam, when you take a recognised world-class goal scorer out of the side, it does make a difference. When Arsenal lost Van Persie, when uh, Manchester United have many a goal scorer. Massively. When, when Alan Shearer left Blackburn Rovers, you know, they leave massive, massive holes. Completely agree. But what I'm saying is the extent that people are going to is saying, like, re- talking about relegation things, it's absolutely bonkers. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Uh, Jermaine made some great points with, with regards to numbers and goals, right? With yep. Harry Kane, who I think is one of the best centre forwards on the planet, if not the best number Agreed. nine. Right, I know you've got Haaland, but for longevity, it has to be Kane, in my opinion. Yep. But either way, he's in the conversation. With that, you finished eighth. Right? Without yep. that, where do you think you'll finish? Because, you, I mean, you, you won't finish higher without <laughs> Harry Kane, will you? 
I don't. I, I would agree with that as an assumption. However, all I would say is you can't look at it as the fact that we would get if he goes, you would replace him, and a team would change around him because we've been reliant and we've always played to his strengths because he's got so many of them, and we have been reliant on him. But the signing of James Madison changes Harry Kane's role massively at Spurs because we've lost, haven't had that since Ericsson had was left the club, and we haven't had that midfield okay. control since he left the club. Let me ask you but one last question, Ed. Right? Let me ask yep. you one last. What's what's a more um, what's what's more likely to happen in a pub conversation? Is it going to be if Spurs lose Harry Kane, they'll be okay, or if Spurs lose Harry Kane, they're going to struggle? That's a fair question, and it depends on what everyone what's, says. What's the okay, answer, Adam? Like, what's the answer? I think they'll be okay. <laughs> no, you don't, <laughs> Adam. No, you don't. <laughs> I do, no, no, I'm, not, I'm saying you take him out and you don't replace him, they will struggle massively. But you get a player in, I'm not, you, can't, you can't not get someone in at all. Okay, but you understand right? why the conversations are happening. I completely, completely, but what I'm saying is you cannot just say, remove Harry Kane. If you think if Spurs did lose Harry Kane, they wouldn't get someone else in. And I'm not, no one would step up to that. What happened when level. you sold Bale? We didn't get in a relegation scrap. No, but you didn't, you, didn't replace him. Europe. you didn't replace him with the but, seven you but, bought. Agreed, but we did keep getting into Europe and we didn't yeah, get in a relegation okay. scrap. Yeah, I'll give you that. Okay. Adam, good call. That, Thanks that's for that. My point. I don't disagree okay. with you guys. I, don't right. like, like, I just think it's that thing. Okay, no, listen. Everyone's uh, entitled to their opinion. I appreciate you throwing in and giving us yours. Thanks, Ad. Thank you, guys. Have Thanks, a lovely man. Afternoon. It's interesting. I mean, Adam's a Spurs fan, obviously. And uh, it, I think it's good that Spurs fans don't see it like we do it, right? Because yeah. otherwise they're going to all hit the panic button. But who, do they rep- who replaces Harry Kane? Well, this is, if, You're if relying they, on Son, and if he's up, he has a half, off season, mm. then if, if they get an out and out goal scorer, let's just say they get an Ivan Tony. I'm a massive fan of Tony. Yeah. I know he can't play till January. But if I was a Spurs fan and you got 80 million, 90 million for Kane and spent half of that or even less on Ivan yeah. Tony as a Spurs fan, I'd be going, okay, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not Ye- bad. I think Tony's fantastic. Talk Sport Drive, super opinionated sporting debate, Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.